Hello, today we're going to talk about some of the manager incentives that are available with the Forever Living Products uh, marketing plan. These add so much excitement to our plan because of what they bring to the table as far as uh, extra income, extra travel, uh, all kinds of uh, recognition and so forth. So let's, uh, let's get started with these exciting trainings. The first one is going to be on case credits. Now, there are different types of case credits. Whenever we purchase product, we have, of course, case credits that are being accumulated for our benefit, for our advancement, and for these incentives. There are several, these same case credits are categorized into different groups so that we can uh, specify what types of activity we want to um, promote in order to achieve these various incentives. The first type of case credits are personal case credits. These are simply case credits that are, that are made up from what you're per personally purchasing as well as those of your retail customers. So if you take all of your retail sales and all of your personal use products that you're purchasing from the company, you're going to receive personal case credits on these. The next kind of case credits are called preferred, uh, actually, in, I'm sorry, in UAE, they're called Novus case credits. In some areas of the, of the world, they're called preferred case credits, but they're this, exactly the same. Novus case credits are those as a result of the people that you have newly sponsored directly to you who have not yet reached the level of assistant supervisor in our marketing program. Then we can define active case credits. These are the case credits that are necessary in order for you to be considered active each month in order to receive your volume bonuses, your group volume bonuses, as well as some of these other incentives. Active case credits simply mean the combination of your personal and your retail and your, your Novus customers. That becomes your active. Next, we have what are called personal and non-manager case credits. These are simply the case credits from your own personal purchases plus the purchases of the people in your group who are not yet under another manager. You can see them here on the diagram. It does not include anything that's happening with your managers beneath you. It is all you and your personal group. The next one is leadership case credits. These case credits are factored case credits from the activity, from the volume of your downline managers. This is very, very special in our marketing program because in most companies, when you have a leader like a manager that breaks away from you, you no longer get to count their case credits towards your incentives. In Forever, we allow you to count those case credits. You get to count 40% of the case credits of your first generation managers, 20% of your second, and 10% of your third. So let's suppose that each of these managers is doing 100 case credits in their group. You will be credited with 40 case credits here, 20 case credits here, and 10 case credits here, in addition to what you're doing from all of your other types of case credits. Bottom line, it makes it much simpler for you to achieve various incentives in forever. Next type of case credits are what we call pass-through case credits. These come from the purchases of non-managers who are under a manager, who are under a downline manager who is not active for the month. So if that manager is not active, the case credits from those assist assistant manager, supervisor, and assistant supervisor groups would pass through to you for that month. Pass-through case credits. Next, we have total case credits. This is simply the total of all the various types of case credits that we've mentioned today. Okay, Many of our incentives require total case credits. Some of them require personal and non-manager case credits and so forth. Now there's one more kind of case credit that we're going to mention today, and that is new case credits. 
New case credits are available. Uh, they count towards managers who sponsor new people into the program. So as a manager, if you sponsor somebody, all of the case credits, the total case credits of that person will count as new case credits for you during the next 12 months or whenever that person becomes a manager, whichever occurs first. Here we have an example of you sponsoring John in the month of June. He goes for 12 full months and has not yet achieved the level of manager. You can see his group is growing and all of those case credits count as new case credits for you for that period. Another example is Mary. You sponsor Mary. Mary becomes a manager in February. You sponsored her in June. She's a, a manager in February. That's when the new case credits stop counting for you for Mary's group. So it's 12 months or when the person becomes manager, either way. Now, new case credits are required in some of our uh, incentives, including the Eagle Manager Incentive and the Chairman's Bonus Incentive. Now remember, they don't count as new until you sponsor somebody, you're a manager and you sponsor a new person, that's when the clock starts ticking towards the 12 months for the new. Okay, now that we understand all the different types of case credits, we're going to be using, we're going to be referring to these different types of case credits as we go throughout the rest of our training on the various incentives available to managers.